and the feature race is underway. Good getaway for our, our pole sitter as he leaves the line, has a waft of defence, but he's got P1 into turn number one. Then it's Antonelli, and then trying to put the pressure on for P3 is Maloney, but for sure has got it. They're being well behaved at the start of this one. It was close there in the middle with uh, Aaron getting close to Marty, but it was very, very, very good for the silver high-tech driver, who's coming off the corner nicely, trying to go all the way around the outside and spinning is Roman Stanek, our winner from yesterday, just keeps it going, but he's trundled all the way to the back of the field. Not the feature race start that he wanted, but the opposite is true for Halga. A dream getaway, and he maintains the lead. There is a really long way to go, that is Behrman. Formula One last week, Formula Two this week. Can he make the pass into turn number nine? He looks really motivated, he'll run out of road. Oh, that was brave, that was brilliant. On the edge and fighting his way by. What a way to take P8, but it's not done yet. This is for the lead of the race. Antonelli dives to the inside. Antonelli takes the lead. Can he hold it? Halga tries to fight back, but the Italian is P1. This is Victor Martins, who has had an absolute rocket. Can you believe that graphic? Started 21st, and he finds his way moving up, but not as quickly as Hauger. Hauger's used that DRS. He's retaken the lead here. Hauger responds in devastating fashion, kept his head, and remade the pass to take P1 in the race. What a start to this one. Oh, off the road goes oh. Pepe Marti, and that will open the door. And Miney says thank you very much to Marty, and he is up as well. Might not be the only one. That is a late breaking move. It's another position gain for Paul Aaron. Antonelli struggling with the rears. Decent pace though from him, so looks like the rest of them are as well. Down the inside, covering Miney, who's doing really well on that set of medium tyres. Yeah. Oh, and oh. another one off. Another one. This time it's Maloney. And Miney says, all right, you inspect the grass at turn 10. If you're Maloney, I'll just take the places off you. And he's got another one. And now for sure being passed. But he's on the same compound of tyre as Aaron. And Aaron is making progress there. Dirksen at the 13th corner is out of the car. And this, the lockup, the contact and the end of his race. O'Sullivan involved again having a frustrating race, just taps Dirksen round and Miney's coming through for second. Miney makes the pass, he's got the medium tyre on the car, the super soft tyre is fading as the VSC comes out. Miney is making that tyre work, Miney takes the lead, the super soft rubber fades away and welcome to our third different race leader today, Kush Miney P1. Oh, off the road goes Dennis Hauger. No. Dennis Hauger finds the barrier at turn number six. He's out of the race. The man chasing the championship lead. And the pit stop then, crucially for Hajar, he got in before the virtual safety car signal. So he gets that benefit and he gets the advantage of track position as a result. We've had Miata in, we've had Cordiel in as well. Full safety car. We have car. a full safety car deployed. It's the left front tyre locking up. It, you know, he's got a bit of cross load in the car and just let go on him right in the middle of the corner. If I was Dennis Hauger, I'll be feeling less bad about it when I watch it back, put it that way. We're on board with the American driver trying to go past the Brazilian who's got the inside, but he saw that one coming, turns the outside line now tries to run around the outside of him. That'll be the inside for turn number three. And Fittipaldi is going to have to work really hard now to maintain the place. He won't be able to do so. It'll be run out of road. He knows what's coming. It does get dished out to him. Elbows out, position gained, and Crawford goes through. He's not the only one. Our race winner yesterday, Stanek, takes the place. Not the restart that Fittipaldi was looking for, but Miney is very nearly a second clear. This is Hadjar trying to make another move on the next set of medium compound tyres. He's round the outside of Fittipaldi. Can he do it into turn nine? Got DRS, will make the move, does make the move up to fifth place. It's in the background there. That's Villa Gomez who got the places off those two a couple of laps ago, but finds the gravel trap at turn 12. And Miata and Maloney are now battling once again for the final point. They're starting to struggle with the overheating of the rear tyre. Maloney looking at the rear of the road in, making what appears to be an easy move then, down towards turn one. Miata thinking better of it, trying to get smart with holding on to the tyre. 
This is for second place. Oh. There's the chop. Will there be room? Antonelli and Aaron. That was a really decisive way to take what could be second place later in the race. It's only seventh for now. Maloney's got a chance on Antonelli as well. So, past Danek goes Aaron. Antonelli gets past. He's deep, though. It's going to compromise his run down to turn 11. Maloney still part of this. Could be a three-car battle. Aaron up to fifth. Antonelli up to sixth. Then it's Stanek, who's about to be passed by Maloney. And Maloney gets there. Good move. Seventh place. Really good pace, mate. There's nine laps or eight and a half laps to go now. So anything you've got left, mate, let's go for it. Maloney around the outside to take the place from Antonelli and to potentially step on the podium as a result. Crawford and Miney file into the pit lane. A bold, a bold strategy. The only one that they uh, that they could pull given the situation. And Hajar will resume at the lead of the race. This is the penultimate corner. He's been here before, but today this one will count. The final corner for the French driver, who will see the chequered flag first, weaving to victory. Isaac Hadjar takes the feature down under. He's won the race in Melbourne, and he'll be joined by Aaron, who takes the fastest lap on the last tour of the circuit, and Maloney, who is still in the lead of this championship as a result. That is a lot of pent-up frustration uh, behind a visor being displayed and being enjoyed. Feature race result, Isaac Hadjar. We thought he won yesterday. He definitely won today. And it's Paul Aaron in second. And Zane Maloney's eventful race takes him to third in the eventual classification. Well, excellent stuff for the French driver on top. After dejection yesterday and the 10-second penalty, it's victory the champagne of success for Hadjar. No investigation hanging over him, just fourth place in the championship and the belief that he can go further still. F2 has put on a show once again down under.